Okay, all right, so I'm going to talk about uh, the Journey Sound mod uh, for, uh, this is a little different than what we had originally had planned, um, but I have found a literal plug-and-play solution to getting rid of the, uh, the old uh, tape player. Um, this is the SparkFun uh, new Wave Trigger Board, and all you need is that, a micro SD card, that has the uh, Journey song, which is available online. It's a WAV file. You just uh, download that, put it on an SD card, and literally just unplug your cassette. This is an original cassette um, that comes from the Journey. Um, you do have to adapt the uh, the power. the The original was set up for center uh, center negative on the uh, cassette player, and so I bought this. Uh, uh, polarity reverser on eBay which uh, changed it to center negative. That just simply plugs into the wave trigger board. You unplug the headphone jack. Again this is an adapter to change it from mono to stereo um, and bought this eBay on eBay for like three dollars and that plugs into the stereo jack on the wave trigger board. Now you can cut these and rewire them yourself if you want but if you don't want to mess with your uh, setup this is it. It's a plug and play solution. That is it. I'm just going to set it down here for now and we're going to power this guy on. And uh, you'll notice uh, uh, when I first turn it on uh, the, uh, the wave trigger board will come on flash a couple of times. That means it checks out and it's reading the card. So we're going to come around to the front of the machine and I'm going to demonstrate it uh, I'm gonna a little more. Pop this in this, it's in self test mode, so I'm going to show you. We can go into the cassette test uh, in self test to check it out. Cassette is now off. Uh, joystick up to turn on, go up. And it works the exact same way that the tape player does with the volume control. Still working in the coin door. And power off. So this should be, uh, with the attract mode sound on, should work the same exact way um, with, the, uh, with the trigger board. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what it does. hit song while Herbie guards the stage from frenzied groupies who are trying to take the instruments. Why do they want to take the instrument? I don't know. It's crazy. So I guess that's the only time it comes on when they talk about the, the thing maybe? I don't know. Hmm. If anybody else does anything different, let me know. So that's it for that. Um, I will have, I'm going to set up a, a tutorial that I'll post somewhere that has, you know, all the details mapped out of, of you know, links of what to buy and, and, and all that. And then also, uh, I'm going to do another part uh, coming up uh, a little later uh, when I get some time where I'm going to take, you can modify this one step further if you uh, are using, assuming that you're using the original interface board. This is set up to play back this cassette player in mono. It's actually wired for stereo, and I'm going to talk about that in uh, in my next uh, video um, about modifying the sound uh, the soundboard into stereo. So then that way you can uh, play back the 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 sound in uh, in stereo. Also, the new Wave Trigger Board has other features that you can get into with software, and you can set it up to do random tracks. Excuse me.
set it up for random tracks. You can change tracks. Um, you know, so if you you know don't want to hear the same song every time, uh, you can change that to uh, to a random uh, to a random uh, song mode. So so there's other lots of other cool things that you can do to add on. But initially, you could just take your old cassette player, throw it in the garbage, plug this thing in, and you're done. Uh, or you could recycle it. Or you could just throw it in the garbage. Recycling is good. Throw it in the garbage. Saving the planet one game at a time. Recycling throw is... Throw it in the garbage. Recycle. I can't stress this enough <laughs> to throw this piece of crap in the trash. Recycle it. 